There's only one reason to train with a trap bar. One reason we grind, become stronger, work towards perfection. And that's for the grocery bag carrying Olympics! The saying goes, you either have to be first, best, or different. And this bar, and probably this video, aren't any of those things. Well, we're probably a little bit different on this channel. But even so, this bar, the Titan Rackable Hex Trap Bar, version two, warrants consideration as a good value trap bar at $270 shipped. Now, before you get all riled up and tell me about the other 436 bars I missed in this review, there's just too many. Every company seems to offer one or multiple versions of theirs. So what I've done is I've narrowed it down to my top pick, my budget pick, and an alternative. And as always, I'll ignore that system and throw more crap into a video than I should. Now, this Titan product, like everything they make, has no similarities to another company. And this bar has been used more than that girl who cheated on me in high school. It's been around, and now I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. I often use my hex bar after barbell deadlifting to hit things differently and to take some stress off my lower back, which would already be taxed by then. Essentially, I use it for overload work and to get some extra volume in. Trap bar deadlifts are also much easier to learn to do properly, making them a great way to introduce people to the movement. Or as an alternative to traditional bar deadlifts, if you have issues with, let's say, your hip range of motion or other issues with a barbell deadlift. And since you're in your own gym, you can do a lot of different exercises with them, especially since you don't have to worry about that kid in the corner curling 15 pounds with his back, posting you on social media. Now let's get to the specs. At 60 pounds with dual handles and tubular steel construction rather than round tubing seen on many budget bars, it's a solid bar. It's 85 inches long and it's listed as rackable, which is mostly true, but because of these upper handles, it is going to be top heavy, so it will flip over. And boys, this isn't one of those times when you want it to flip over. And if you have a three by three rack like rep where it's a little tighter on the inside, the fit might not be very comfortable. Now, when I run these Titan numbers, I'm also gonna show Rogue's Trap Bar 2 numbers. Not that there's any similarities between these two products. For a handle diameter, you're looking at 32 millimeters or 1.25 inches, and the second handle is 7.5 inches tall. And I prefer trap bars with two sets of handles for the versatility they provide. And it's got a 22 inch spread. What is a spread, you ask? Well, that's something only Google can answer for you. But seriously, it's the spacing from the center of each handles, which can be a little tight, especially if you're a larger person like my buddy Matt. It's got a 16 inch loadable sleeve length, which is good because you can really get some weight on this thing. And if you're thinking that's only a quarter of an inch less than Ohio Power Bar, you're right but what man is giving up a quarter of an inch? And if you're using the upper handles, you're gonna be able to put a lot more weight on this thing because of that shorter range of motion. The sleeve diameter is 48 millimeters and I've had zero issues getting any of my collars on it. For the build quality, I'll use my classic it's tightened. Now, what does that mean? With an 800 pound capacity and decent welds, it's going to hold up perfectly fine. But I think we can sum it up with this high quality centered sticker. The bar is fully powder coated, which means the sleeves are going to get beat up pretty quickly. The only nice thing about black powder coating is you can use flat black Rust-Oleum paint to touch up spots if you really care. When it comes to the knurling, I wouldn't say it's particularly consistent and it has a bit of a medium aggressive feel, but not quite as crisp and clean as an Ohio Power Bar. And it comes with a one year warranty for whatever value a Titan warranty holds. And with all that being said, and I know I'm being a little harsh on it, it is my budget pick. For the price, it's a really good bar especially considering they have to ship it to you for that price and it was packaged pretty well. Is it perfect? No. And am I hard on Titan? Sure, but I have no brand loyalty. I don't care what you buy as long as you're using my links. And I think if you're always making two versions of a product because the first one's often lacking, it's probably deservedly so. Now for my top pick, if you hadn't guessed it already, I would go to the Rogue Trap Bar 2. And that's because when you look at them, they're nearly identical. At $395 or $500 to your door, which is a big jump in price, it's an absolute tank. It doesn't even have a weight capacity and that's not an oversight, they're not worried. And it's three inches longer. Now does Rogue's customer service, lifetime warranty and quality justify the price? I'm not sure, but it's a great bar. And for $100 less, you could look at the TB1, but it only has one set of handles. Though honestly, at these higher price points, I'd probably start looking at open trap bars. Now for my alternative pick, I'd go to the Titan Olympic Hex Bar, which is a budget version of a 
budget version at $130 shipped, that price kind of scares me because for some of these companies, that's about what it would cost to ship that bar to you. And if you're using bumpers, you're not getting over three plates on there. It is much smaller at 56 inches in length and a 24 and a half inch spread. And depending on your platform construction, it might fit on there a little awkwardly. I don't recommend it for most people because you'll outgrow it quick and the chrome on that sleeves is gonna come off, though you cannot argue with the value. Now you can also look at CAPS versions of trap bars since they sell a bunch of variations. And as I hinted at in the beginning of the video, there's a lot of companies offering their versions of trap bars and a lot of them are actually pretty good. And there's also a weird amount of companies offering very similar budget versions of trap bars. If you guys already have a trap bar, let me know in the comments which one you have and your thoughts on it. Or if you don't, then you can search to your heart's content and you'll eventually be like me and cave and buy one or really be like me and buy more than one. But don't worry about it. Your wife will love it. Believe me. So I hope this video was helpful and you guys got something out of it. I'll see you next week.